Well, hello everyone. I80386SX. And today we're going to talk about a Compact LTE 5280. This machine has made this channel before. So, what are we exactly going to do with it? Well, today, this is a repair that probably most of you probably could figure out on your own if you have one of these machines already. So, I would say probably nine out of 10 people that own these machines probably already know how to do this particular repair, which involves the CMOS RTC hibernation battery. I make this for the one out of the 10 that just A, are either trying to be proactive or B, they are stout for whatever reason. These older machines, they do things in a little bit more unique fashion. You never know what you're gonna run into, so I'm not here to pass judgment on, I can't find this dang thing. But before I do continue here, if you bought your batteries from an eBear with a similar name to my YouTube channel, 80486SX, I thank you for your purchase. I do this hobby, I make the small batteries to help people like you that have an LTE 5000 series or others. There's a few others I have listed as of uh, today. I help them try to restore their machines in any way, shape, or form. I know it's a small contribution to the retro PC world, but it's a fun little hobby. And particularly with these 5000s, this little thermostat that's inside them, that was a personal victory of finding a source for new ones. And you know, with all that effort, I simply couldn't waste it. And as a result, I'm glad I did put the effort in because I've had dozens of purchases of these particular batteries along with a few others. Now a little bit of some uh, things you should be aware of if you bought the batteries for me. The shrink wrap is not going to be perfect. I'm going to be blunt. I haven't mastered that but it's not going to harm anything on this machine as where it is going is exclusively surrounded by plastic. And if it's one that's been sitting for a while for whatever reason Maybe an older one got in the way somewhere, or who knows, maybe you bought the battery and you haven't got around to putting it in yet. They're going to come a little bit discharged. Don't worry. Once you put it in the machine, it'll charge right up. So no worries there. And this is also a battery that handles hibernation. In my opinion, it's a little bit underpowered. I'm not crazy about the whole solution of... Let's put hibernation and clock battery all in one battery. Not a big fan of that. So if you leave the computer sit without power for quite a while, the battery will deplete and you'll get that annoying hibernation message. Oh, we reset everything to default. So that's an unfortunate limitation of the 5000 series. And that's long with the LTE Elite. And I'm almost positive that the Compact Concerto has the same limitation. If you want to prolong clock settings, I would suggest rebuilding the main battery. You know, that might be a service I get into, or at least partially get into at some point, but... Enough about the disclaimers and all that fun stuff. Let's get into it. So, first thing is first, you disconnect all known power sources from the machine. There is no other power sources, so we flip the machine upside down. And we have a small flathead screwdriver. And you carefully get this door in. And there, my friends, is your battery. And this might have been one of my very first ones I ever made. You just take it out like so. Yeah, this is definitely one of my experiments <laughs> before I had the shrink uh, wrap stuff and very thing very important thing to note and I didn't even keep track of it but you should you'll have some pins on the battery itself you'll notice a side that is significantly closer to the top than other it's not centered so you want your pins pointing towards the top And I did kind of uh, 
modify the design of this a little bit. So do bear with me here. And I probably should have tested it, but it is what it is. The new thermostats are a little bit smaller than the OEM ones or ones I've made previously in the year. And you're in. So carefully in. At the end of the day, your red lead is going to be facing this way. So the red lead, if you're looking at it from the view that we have it now, would be on the left. Now, you tuck that battery in there, and the wiring is going to be kind of a pill here, but that's life. And voila. It's not a pretty fix, but it is a fix. And the reverse, I'm not going to completely snap that cover on because that is a new battery. I want to sell the new battery and not the experiments. In fact, I might uh, just reheat shrink this guy and call it a day. And that will be it. So, so yeah, once you get that cover snapped on, you just carefully snap that on. You reconnect all your power and that's pretty much it very easy fix so yeah that's about it and uh, just set your clock once you get in the BIOS and you should be good to go now if you do have any questions uh, or comments or any issues that may arise with your especially with those that have purchased from me that's it feel free to contact me on my eBay store I will put a link in the description with my Username on that is 80486SX, and why are my names a little bit different one from the other versus the YouTube channel? Well, simply put, certain names weren't available when the YouTube channel was made, so I just substituted another number. So, there you go, there's another two in one special here for you. So, and if you have any other questions about is this battery available or what can I do to do this? Well, I will try my best to answer those questions. And another good resource, uh, especially for the 5000 series, if you haven't already, is to join the Compaq LTE and Armada Facebook group. So, yeah, that's uh, one of the few reasons why I'm still on there. <laughs> but just a couple resources to try to keep these machines going the best we can. We have great community over there we have a guy over in Israel I think made uh, the latches for these machines uh, we had a guy that managed to get a 64 gig M SATA to work in these I couldn't figure that out for the life of me we had a small handful of folks that rebuilt these batteries and with success uh, yours truly rebuilt an LTE light pack along with a Contura pack uh, and that's uh, another thing too if you have even a Contura or a Concerto or an SLT, go ahead and join that group and ask your question. I'm not an admin, but I know the admins don't judge on those. Those are cool. But again, I somehow turned this into a 10 minute video. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, and if you have any questions, comments, or constructive criticism, please leave it in the comments section for me and uh, I will do my best to point you in the right direction. Uh, again, thank you for watching.